Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about JAX. Uh, what is JAX? JAX is a blockchain interface wallet. Um, I'm going to be covering more about JAX on their website at JAX.io. We are also going to be covering the installation process of JAX and how you can exchange some Bitcoin for Dash. All right, everyone, we are here at jax.io. This is their main landing page. Here you can see everything that Jax has to offer. They are a blockchain interface. Uh, what does that mean exactly? Uh, they support multiple digital currencies, such as here at the top, Zcash, going down to the right, Litecoin, then Bitcoin in the far right. In the bottom right, they have Ethereum. And right here, the fox at the bottom, that's not actually a digital currency. It is an exchange that is embedded in the wallet, which I'm going to be demonstrating at the end of this lecture. The coin here on the left is Augur. On the far left is Dash and in the top left, Ethereum Classic. Uh, to my knowledge, JAX is constantly growing and adding more digital currencies. Hence, this little grayed out circle right here in all the corners. So, potential for expansion. Dash likes to have their users in control, meaning that it is a crisp, user-friendly interaction. This is permissionless access, meaning that there is no user data. So they don't know your name, your phone, phone number, if you have the JAX mobile wallet. And continuing back on to the design, it's led for the user experience. They want it to be very crisp, user-friendly, and smooth, and operate at a phenomenal level. And last but not least, for all the techies out there, they have their visible code right here at view source code at the top. It is all their past versions. So right now, I believe they're on JAX 1.22 similar code like that. Oh, sorry. They are on JAX 1.2, so they have all their past data, or, and choose your version, and you can go all the way back to 0.0.12. And they have JAX available for anyone, depending on your operating system, the browser you prefer. They want to make it as user-friendly as possible. So with that being said, let's get JAX. JAX is also a free wallet. Today I'm going to be installing it on my Mac desktop. So I'm going to download the DMG file. Alright everyone, once you have finished downloading the JAX installer for your preferred operating system, now double click the installer and for a Mac all you need to do is drag over the JAX app icon and drag it into the applications folder and now it is just finished copying and now what we'll do is open the JAX app and because JAX was just downloaded we're going to need to confirm that we want to open it and now we are going to start the set or the setup process for JAX 1.2. So all you need to do is click continue and agree to their licensing terms. If you feel feel like you would like to read their terms of service, uh, you can please do so. Uh, click accept because this is the first time that we are installing a new wallet. With JAX, we're going to create a new one, or you can pair or restore a previous wallet that you have had in the past. 
this will require a 12 word phrase to restore your wallet. So we're going to create a new wallet. So all we need to do is click continue. There is an express option and a custom option. You can find out what each are based on the little information icon. So express, obviously, we're going to set up the wallet as quickly as possible. Custom, select the option. If you would like to customize your wallet, you'll be able to select your wallet token and currency, set up a security pin, and back up your wallet. I can show you how to do this after we finish doing the express setup. So today, with JAX 1.2, they support all of these coins. And I believe RSK Testnet is in beta right now. But today, we are going to just have a Bitcoin and Dash digital currency. And now, take me to the wallet. Takes a few moments. There we go. We have our fresh Bitcoin address and our fresh dash address. Dash addresses usually begin with an X, and Bitcoin addresses usually begin with a 1. Just some friendly information right there. So now we can go deeper into the wallet. Click the in the top right corner, you'll see a hamburger icon. And now this will take you to the mem the menu, wallets, and currency. Currency is your country's fiat dollar or your paper dollars. So I'm in the United States. I use the USD. Under the wallets tab, it is all the coins. So you can preferably go back later and add additional coins to your wallet if you see fit. Back at the menu, we have tools, settings, help, bulletin, jacks, about. So let's start with the about. About just gives you information and resources in order to help you with your jacks wallet. The bulletin is for updates that Jax is working on. Help, uh, just FAQ in order to make your wallet integration as smooth as possible. Settings, we have setup security pin. This is for uh, when you're wanting to send Dash or Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency or digital currency that you're looking to send, you'll have to enter a security phrase. Uh, reset cash. This will resync your uh, tokens or digital currencies with the blockchain. Back in settings, we have BTC mining fee. Uh, BTC mining fee is the charge that you pay for sending your digital currency or for when you send Bitcoin. So a normal fee uh, depends, or the fees depend based on uh, the network difficulty and how many people are sending uh, Bitcoin and depends on how much each block is f filling up. So if you have normal, which I would just recommend just so you're not throwing too much extra Bitcoin out of your wallet compared to fast and then slow. Sometimes with slow it will take over 24 hours. It just dep really depends on what is going on with the network at the time. So let's click on tools. So with tools you can set up a backup wallet and view your backup phrase. I'm not going to display this in this video. It's just your 12 key keyword passphrase. And when uh, viewing your passphrase, I would highly recommend you write it down with a pen and paper and file it away. And then display private keys. This is just the 
private keys to your wallet. I'll go over this in a later lecture involving the paper wallets. And then the pair device is pair your wallet to or from another device with backup phrase or pairing code. So you could essentially have a Jax wallet on your phone and a Jax wallet on your desktop. And then transfer paper wallet. If you have a paper wallet, you can request the private key by typing it in from your paper wallet. You can, I'll be going over this also in a later lecture involving the paper wallets. And that is it for the da or for the JAX settings and everything like that. Now we are actually going to send some Bitcoin into Dash directly within the JAX wallet. As you can see, I just sent myself some Bitcoin from another wallet of mine, uh, just 0.01 Bitcoin. And you can see how the wallet transaction history says unconfirmed. We are waiting for the blockchain to confirm that I sent Bitcoin from my other wallet to the JAX wallet. And once it's confirmed, I will then show you how to shapeshift. All right, everyone. As you can see, I have one confirmation now. And we are going to sh shapeshift this 0 0.01 BTC into Dash. So all you need to do is click on the Fox icon. And then this uh, so-called div will collapse and will prompt you on how much you want to spend and because I only have 0 0.01 Bitcoin it is accommodating for the network fee for me to send the maximum amount I, I can to get Dash. So all you have to do is click max, auto filled, and shapeshift BTC arrow to dash or you can drop this breakdown and select the co digital currency you're looking to shapeshift so now all you need to do is click shift shapeshift confirmation 0 0.009 bitcoin and i will receive 0 0.1411 dash and it already accommodated for the Bitcoin mining fee. And all you need to do is click confirm. Transaction sent. And now I can go to Dash. And I will be back in a moment once I received the Dash. Uh, Shapeshift takes approximately... 30 minutes maximum in my experience, depending on how much traffic that the shape, shapeshift service is enduring at the time. For spendable, I have received my dash through shapeshift. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will get to them as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you for everyone watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I will have more Dash-related content coming your way as I can get, get it done. All right, thank you, and hope you all have a great day.